today's video we are trying fast food hacks for 24 hours i feel like trying hacks is so much fun and i actually had you guys recommend hacks to me on instagram that y'all would want to see me try and y'all sent me so many good ones i had to narrow it down but i feel like we got some really fun ones to try so the first hack was sent in by luis or luis ramos and this one is from dunkin donuts so he says to get an avocado toast with bacon and then a second avocado toast with no bacon and then an order of hash browns and what we're gonna do is put the hash browns on top of one of them and make it a sandwich with the other toast that sounds so good i love their avocado toast and hash browns so combine that together oh i think it's gonna be delicious and then he has a drink it says pineapple mango refresher but with water and one pump of liquid cane sugar conclusion it is bomb okay let's see how bomb it is i will see you guys over at dunkin donuts all right you guys we have made it to dunkin donuts fingers crossed this goes well our dunkin is very much a hit or miss i feel like most of the time they just don't have a lot of ingredients but let's see hello welcome to dunkin how can i help you hello um can i get an avocado toast with bacon please i'm sorry you said an avocado toast uh, with bacon, yes. Avocado toast with bacon, all right. Is there gonna be anything else for you? Yes, could I get another avocado toast with no bacon on that one? Okay. And then, do you guys have the loaded hash browns? The loaded hash browns? Yes. Uh, let me double check. I'm pretty sure we have all of the for it. Yeah. Okay, I'll do an order of those, please. And you wanted to order of the hash browns, all right. And then just one more item. Um, could I do a mango pineapple refresher, but could I get it made with water and one pump of cane sugar? You said you wanted it made with water? Uh, yes, please. Uh, what size? I'll just do a medium. All right, is that gonna be everything for you? Yep, that's gonna be it. Alright, 16.29. Okay, thank you. Okay, you guys, that actually went super well. Usually, I I feel like I struggle at Duncan for some reason, but I think today is a good day at Duncan. I ended up getting the loaded hash browns because those are new. I think they just came out today or maybe yesterday. It's a part of their new holiday menu, I guess. Something like that. But yeah, I decided to get that because instead of regular hash browns, it has a queso cheese and bacon on it. So we're gonna put that on the avocado toast instead. Sorry, Luis, we're, we're changing up the hack just a little bit, but I feel like this will be good and it's still gonna give us similar vibes, but with a little bit of a twist to it. Uh, do you have any nice in there by any chance? Okay, that's fine, thank you. Have a good day. All right, you guys, we've secured our Dunkin' boxes. I guess they're out of bags, but okay, let's get parked and give this a try. Does this look right? I don't think they made it with water, but maybe they did. We'll just have to give it a try. Okay, first thing I'm gonna try is the mango pineapple refresher. Ooh, no, okay, they did make it with water they had to have because it's a very subtle flavor but i definitely taste the mango what i like about this is it's not super syrupy which i feel like is the problem with a lot of refreshers oh my gosh that's amazing okay time for the avocado toast so there is the avocado toast with bacon and then we also got avocado toast with no bacon we got our hash browns loaded hash browns which we're gonna throw on here oh my gosh these look absolutely delicious look at that queso okay so i'm just gonna scoop these and put it onto the toast okay so there is the avocado toast with the hash browns on it oh my gosh how delicious does that look okay then we're gonna put this toast on top Okay, so here's the completed sandwich. This looks so yummy. Let's give it a bite. Wow. Okay, that is super delicious. I kinda wanna pull out a hash brown and try it with the avocado smeared on there. Mmm. <gasps> okay, this is definitely a 10-10 hack. The avocado toast is so soft because of the bread, and their avocado has a very mild flavor, but then with the hash browns, you get that amazing potato flavor and texture, plus the bacon and the queso on the hash browns. 
<sighs> it's delicious. Adding the hash browns to this is a must. Those hash browns are perfection. Okay, that hack, massive success. I feel like adding the hash browns to the avocado toast just amplifies it to the next level. It adds that texture that is just perfect. I approve of that hack. And then the drink, this mango pineapple refresher with water. This is perfect if you like a refresher that is not super syrupy. Ooh, delicious. I'd give this a 10, 10 too. I'm gonna definitely keep drinking this. Okay, so I will see you guys at our next spot for our second fast food hack. All right, you guys, our next fast food hack is from Bojangles. One of you guys sent this hack to me as an Instagram reel and it looked absolutely amazing. So we are gonna be getting a bow berry biscuit and then we're also gonna get a sausage biscuit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the sausage patty on the bow berry biscuit. If you guys are not familiar with the bow berry biscuits from Bojangles, they're basically like their sweet frosted blueberry biscuits and if you cut it in half you can then put something inside of it which is going to be the sausage patty. I think this is going to be absolutely amazing so let's go ahead and pop into the drive through I'll take your order. Hi, could I get one bowberry biscuit please? I can have one bowberry biscuit. And then is there any way I could get just one sausage patty on the side? You can. Okay, I'll do that please. Okay. And that's going to be it. Alright, so make 287. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. How are you doing? 287. Hey, I'm good. How are you doing? Good, good, good. Um, do you have any plastic knives? Uh, we do. Okay, I'll take one of those, please. One in there for you. Okay, thank you. There you go. Thank you so much. Have you a good have day. A day. Yeah, oh my gosh, he was so nice. He had silver jewelry on. We were matching. Got my silver jewelry on. He had his silver jewelry on. There's a Wendy's right across the street, and we do have a Wendy's hack. So I think I'm gonna. Go Shoot, you guys went flying. <laughs> I think I'm gonna park in the Wendy's parking lot since we're doing a Wendy's hack as well. A few moments later. All right, you guys, here's our Bojangles bag. So we have our sausage patty to go on the Bowberry biscuit. <laughs> just, just a lone sausage patty. And then here is the Bowberry biscuit. These are so delicious from Bojangles. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so this one's actually shaped a lot different than a normal biscuit. Usually they are the shape of a regular circular biscuit, but this one is shaped like a football. Oh, you know why it's shaped like a football? I think they're running their like specials for, um, for football because they do a lot of tailgating specials for football. That's probably why. Okay, let's try to cut this in half though okay it kind of broke on me but we we have the general gist of what it's supposed to be i will say this is very messy to eat like a sandwich because it has all the frosting on it but let's give it a bite and see if it's good Mhm. Mm okay taste is phenomenal this biscuit has that sweet, salty, savory flavor that is so tasty. I mean, taste-wise, I'm gonna have to give this a 9 out of 10, probably. But to actually eat, it's like a 6 out of 10 for hat, because look at my fingers, they are covered in glaze. Very messy to eat, but totally worth it. It's pretty incredible. Okay, since we're outside of Wendy's, let's go ahead and do this Wendy's hack. Now, this was actually sent to me the most out of any fast food hack. I had so many of you guys send me this reel. So, I'm going to pop it up on the screen and play it for you guys. Okay, so, Baconator fries plus spicy chicken nuggets equals game changer. Okay, so we put the nuggets on the fries. We got ghost pepper ranch. Shake it up. It looks really delicious. I love that he's eating it with chopsticks. <laughs> I don't have chopsticks, unfortunately, so we're gonna have to eat it with a fork, but let's go ahead and pop into the Wendy's drive-thru. Thank you for the Wendy's. Hello, could I get an order of the Baconator fries, please? Anything else for you? Yes, could I also get a uh, spicy chicken nuggets? Four, six, or ten piece. I'll do a six piece, please. Five. Ghost pepper ranch. Would that be all for you today? Yep, yeah, that's gonna be it. 
Okay, thank you. Okay, this one I'm super excited for. This is gonna be so salty, but I feel like it's gonna taste delicious. And the ghost pepper ranch at Wendy's, the best. Yeah, we hey. Ghost pepper, um, oh no. Yeah. Um, do you have regular ranch? I'll do ranch. Cool. Thanks. Ranch. You too. All right, you guys, our Wendy's bag has been secured. Unfortunately, they didn't have ghost pepper ranch. <gasps> oh. I am so sad. The ghost pepper ranch I feel like would really make this hack, but we got regular ranch and I feel like, I don't know, maybe with the spicy nuggets, we'll still get a little bit of like the kick that we're looking for. Okay, well, Wendy's bag. Let's check this out and see what we got. Okay, we got a fork. We got the ranch. <laughs> spicy chicken nuggets, and the Baconator fries. Okay, let's see if I can combine all these items without making a mess in my car. I have frosting, like dried frosting all over my hands in my car. Okay, so we're gonna take, ooh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit all the nuggets onto here. There's the Baconator fries. We'll put one nugget, two nuggets, three nuggets, and four nuggets. I think that's all I'm gonna be able to fit on there. Okay, now we're gonna take our ranch and pour it onto here. It's been a while since I've done fast food hacks. I forgot how much of a hassle it is. Not like a bad hassle, but there's just so much to do. I do have a video where I tried Chick-fil-A hacks. That one was really fun. We did a lot of good Chick-fil-A hacks. Okay, now we gotta shake this up like he did in his video. I don't know how he packed it all in there because Unless they just gave me a lot of fries. All right, you guys, here's the finished product. What do you think? Does it look delicious or does it look like something you'd probably not want to try? Let's give it a bite and see how it is. Okay. I mean, you really can't go wrong. Fries, cheese, bacon, chicken, ranch. That's a pretty great combination. Mmm. Okay, this is deadly. I mean, I'd imagine the Baconator fries just on their own is amazing because their cheese sauce is actually super delicious. And then add the ranch to it. Mm. I think the only thing that I would change about it is before I added my chicken nuggets, I would definitely cut them in half because sticking a whole chicken nugget in your mouth along with the fries, the cheese, the bacon, <laughs> it's a lot. This is a great hack though. I think out of all the hacks, this has been the tastiest. Again, it's mostly just a salty, cheesy flavor, but it's so yummy. So I'm gonna have to give this a 10 out of 10. Definitely my favorite hack so far. The one at Dunkin' was really good. Like that avocado toast is just fabulous. I'm definitely gonna have to try this again with the ghost pepper ranch for sure. Okay, I will see you guys at our next stop for more fast food hacks. All right, you guys, it's now dinner time and we are gonna be getting our final hacks. I'm gonna do this all in one go and tell you the rest of the hacks now because I totally forgot this past weekend was daylight savings. So it is gonna be getting dark now any minute. We're gonna try to rush through this. So one of our hacks is from McDonald's and that is a McDouble dress like a Big Mac. So this is a very old hack. This has been around for a while, but this was recommended a lot. And I don't think I've ever tried it. So I figured I would get it. And then we're also gonna be going to Chick-fil-A to get this hack, which is an ice cream cone, chop it up and get fruit cup and mix. And then I think there was one last hack that I saw from Chick-fil-A, which we may try. I believe it was chicken tenders tossed in Polynesian sauce. I couldn't find the reel again, but I think that's what it was. Okay, let's hurry up, go to McDonald's and Chick-fil-A and we will give these hacks a try. Hi, um, can I get a McDouble with no ketchup or mustard? And can I add lettuce and Big Mac sauce? So me being the dumb person that I am, I was trying to add pickles <laughs> to a McDouble that already comes with pickles. I don't know why I forgot the McDouble had pickles. And I totally forgot I wanted to ask for a steamed bun. So apparently there's a hack at McDonald's where you can ask for your bun to be steamed. I was gonna do that, but I forgot, unfortunately. So maybe next time I come to McDonald's, I'll do that. All right, you guys, we secured our McDonald's bag. It smells so good. Something about McDonald's food just smells absolutely amazing. Like, 
Mm, so, so, so good. Okay, so here is the McDouble dressed as a Big Mac. Now, I will say this sandwich costed just under $5. So is this a hack in 2023? I don't know. I think the main reason people got this was because it was a lot cheaper and it tasted like a Big Mac. So I don't know. I mean, assuming the price of a Big Mac has gone up a lot, probably this could still be a good hack, but anyways let's see what we got Ooh, it does look pretty tasty okay so there we go let's go ahead and give this a bite it has a lot of <laughs> big mac sauce on it Ooh, look at that Oh wow. Okay, I gotta say this is 10 times better than a Big Mac, which personally I'm not a big fan of. I don't love the extra bun. I may have to get this more often when I come to McDonald's. Mmm. Okay, so despite the price definitely being way higher than it used to be, I mean, just the McDouble alone is now $3.40. And then once you add the lettuce and the Big Mac sauce, it drives it up about a dollar more. But I would still give this hack a 10 out of 10. It tastes amazing. It's a good way to get a Big Mac for less, and you don't have to get that extra bun, which, not a fan of the extra bun. If you like the extra bun, stick with the Big Mac. If you don't, try this hack out. It's delicious. Okay, we're on a time crunch, so I will see you guys over at Chick-fil-A. Okay, so we got our ice cream cone from Chick-fil-A as well as our fruit cup. I decided not to do the chicken tenders with the Polynesian sauce hack because I didn't think I'd have enough time. It's like five minutes away from being pitch black. The sun is down. It's just, you know, it's like in that weird period where half of the sky is dark, the other half is still clinging on to the light. Oh! Okay, this is the most loaded fruit bowl I have ever gotten. This is not going to fit. Usually the bowl is like half filled, so I thought we could just put this in there, but um, how are we gonna do this? Oh, and also look at the Chick-fil-A bag. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. It's a Christmas tree on the back. It says, tis the season for sharing kindness. Oh, I love that. Okay, so, hmm. Chick-fil-A's ice cream, so good. Okay, I guess what I'm gonna do is just kind of put it in there like that. Okay, this wrapper needs to come off <laughs> so we don't get it into. Okay guys, here is the creation. How should I do this? You're supposed to like break up the cone in here, but um, <sighs> I should have brought a different container so I could actually kind of do this a little bit better. Okay, that looks like a good bite. We got some of the cone ice cream, some of the berries. Hmm, interesting. It kind of just tastes like fruit with whipped cream. It's good, but there is a but. I would almost just rather eat the ice cream by itself. Mm. It is good though. The fruit kind of adds a refreshing touch to it. You guys will have to let me know if you want to see a part two to this and then we can do more chick-fil-a hacks because there are so many there were some taco bell hacks that looked so good i just you know there was so much to choose from i couldn't decide Okay, for this hack, I'm kind of teetering between a 7 out of 10 and an 8 out of 10. It is really delicious. Like, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Like I said, I would just almost prefer to eat the ice cream cone on its own. That's why I don't know how high I would rate this. Mmm. Ooh, 
with the apple. The apple's really good. Okay, well now I just have to transport this home safely. But that is gonna be it for this video, you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed seeing me try some fast food hacks for 24 hours. I had a lot of fun fast food hacks. They are always a good time. Let me know down in the comment section if you wanna see a part two. I love you guys so, so much. Please drop a thumbs up down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.